On the edge of Kielder Water, surrounded by scenic woodland, is the Kielder Viaduct, the Fumbland's hidden gem. Listen to us tell its story and understand why you should come and see it. Kielder Viaduct, which was constructed as part of the Border Counties Railway Line from Hexham to Ricketon Junction, was opened in 1862. The viaduct crosses the North Tyne at an angle, which resulted in what are known as skew arches. Nearby is Kielder Castle, the Duke of Northumberland's hunting lodge. It is understood he insisted that the viaduct was constructed in stone with battlements to match his castle. The line was originally built to transport coal from Plashett's Colliery to the ironworks at Bellingham uh, Ridgedale. Construction began in 1855 and needed a huge workforce, most of whom came from Ireland and Scotland. The line opened in 1862 and soon began transporting other materials such as minerals, livestock, agricultural materials and groceries. Free daily passenger services soon followed with extra services on market days. However, the line never made money and closed to passengers in 1956 and to goods in 1958. The viaduct was then acquired by the Forestry Commission, who later wanted to blow it up. A campaign to save it was led by Sir Rupert Spears MP and Colonel Richard Byrne of the Parish Council, which led to the Northumberland and Newcastle Society purchasing the viaduct in 1969 for £1. Rising water levels after the construction of the Kielder Reservoir in the early 80s resulted in the need to protect the piers. The project was funded by Northumbrian Water and the Department of the Environment with a public subscription raised by the Northumberland and Newcastle Society. The viaduct is on the edge of Bakefin Nature Reserve. From the elusive otter to the many varieties of duck and wildfowl, there is a whole host of wildlife to be seen from the viaduct. The viaduct is especially popular with school groups and local children. I went on a bike ride to the viaduct and I saw an otter. When I went across the viaduct, I saw a few bricks in the lake before the house is flooded. I think the viaduct is really good, but I think it's a shame there aren't panels on the side looking out towards the lake. These eight wrought iron heritage panels are based on designs suggested by local people. They were produced over one weekend in 2004 at a forging when around 80 blacksmiths from the British Artists Blacksmiths Association travelled to Kielder from all over the country to collaborate with their production, producing some stunning pieces of artwork. The viaduct is a tangible reminder of the area's railway and industrial past. It's now part of the Lakeside Way, offering a 360 degree panoramic view over the reservoir and all around the valley. At any time and in any weather, you'll see people going over the viaduct, walking, Cycling, bird watching, and more recently, stargazing. Now you've heard its story, come and enjoy this wonderful historic monument where there's always something to see, anytime, any day, and in any weather. <laughs>